All right, it's windy. It's windy today. And we have Ron here. Ron from Digital Web. Digital Web. Ron from Digital Web. Yeah. If you're actual Digital Web TV fans, you will have heard of me. He's here because uh, this video is about obviously about G90 or G91 or G95. Depends on where you're from. And because Ron got a G. 81 80. or 80 or, or G85. So where is it? Uh, oh, so we can compare this to the new camera so you can go now. Okay, um, see you guys. <laughs> no, not really because because Warren have been using it for a long time and then I want to see what he think about. Yay. Oh, the camera itself. This is, this looks like exactly the same camera. And I'm shooting with uh, S1 today because I will be behind the camera so I can use both hands. Hang on, it's not focusing. Okay, it, it, it is. So this is a... Uh, I don't know which one is which. <laughs> yeah, exactly which one is which, right? The, the white G is a 95 and then the silver G is 85. White, white and silver? Yeah. Oh, this is silver. Ding! This is white. Maybe not as luxurious looking. Doesn't affect the image quality or the performance anyway. Well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> the G85 and G95 are Panasonic's mid level cameras, promise high performance at a more affordable price. Both are weather sealed, dust proof. Yes, they look almost exactly the same. Well, almost. It, there, is, there is some difference, right? Yeah, I mean, okay, so off the bat, they've added the, um, the three yeah. buttons, the famous three touchable can tell very easily which buttons which buttons what do you mean <laughs> <laughs> they've got a very uh, unique tactile feel to them white balance is a little bit bezeled ISO has the two dots and the uh, exposure comb is completely flat so basically when you've got your eye to the viewfinder you should be able to instinctively tell which one's which without having to check they've got okay they've got less function menus that G85 is kind of littered with function menu. You've got function one, random button, uh, you've got function two, three, four, five. So this is the old one? Yeah, this is a G85. This is a little less clunky and I kind of like that. I, I think that's a good thing because they've realized they missed out on the- Oh yeah, uh, yeah, 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 that's true. Uh, and, and so for me, this actually feels a lot more, sim more simpler and more direct. Mm. Whether this one, you just have to make up your function buttons, which is yeah, okay. and you have to remember them. Yeah, you have exactly. to make, uh, get used to them. Yeah, yeah. Um, apart from that, the um, they've got a scrolly wheelie thing. Everything else looks. The grip. As I read from the web, the grip is bigger. Cause I don't have the old one to compare to. They've got. Well, no. okay, wait, wait, wait. Close your eyes, <laughs> and I'm gonna place it in your hands. Which one is this? Smaller, this is? A little bit, okay. Yeah, 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 I would say, okay. Bezel notch, which allows your fingers to feel it. Yeah, yeah, slightly. But when you look at the, the pots. I mean, effectively, it's the same. It's just that no, instead no. of one flap, no. instead of two flaps. Okay, yeah, this, the G85, I remember, had no headphone jack. Yeah. That's the one. And now this has a headphone jack and the mic jack is And the mic jack top. on the top, so it don't block the the screen but the headphone jack will block the screen yeah, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should put the mic and the headphone jack both on top yeah 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 okay anyway anyway we, we can talk about these small things later take i'll take some pictures first okay so that you know my thoughts yeah um i i really just bought the g85 because it was cheap <laughs> 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 it was cheap it had 4k um, yeah, that's good, isn't it? I mean, uh, usable 4K. Yeah. Uh, th this is just after um, I, I left DRTV and I was like, well, I need a camera to, to well, take pictures and vlog around, film some stuff, and I just opted for this one. I'm going to be a cameraman this all is day. Me. This is your channel. Why, is <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take... Okay, so you're going to take some pictures afterwards though, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's, whoa, that's really windy. Quite refreshing to just defer my work to someone else. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> That's why it was better at DR because you had other people to like help you out. But yeah. Vlogging is hard, guys. Doing content on your own is hard. It's not. It's not as easy as people, as Locke makes it out to be. Um, of course, the AF um, system is contrast detection. Not much to talk about, to be honest. Perform well in daytime, of course. Uh, feels about the same. Um, I think the only noticeable difference right now is um, two things. Is the shutter. It's a lot softer. Dude, the, um, that's a good thing. <laughs> that, that's really soft. Yeah. Because yeah. you can't hear anything, I'm sure, yeah. from the mic. Hang on, I think it is on electronic first curtain. If we oh. put in mechanical. I noobed out, sorry guys. Now it's mechanical. Not too much different, actually. Okay. It's still really soft. So on paper, it's got a 20 megapixel sensor. It's a new 20 megapixel sensor. It would be good if the dynamic range is actually improved. Yeah, it would be great if, if that's the case. Photos from both cameras actually look identical. Same level of shadow details, dynamic range. It can do continuous burst at 9 FPS with AFS goes down to 6 FPS if you need AFC. Pretty basic for today's standard and it's the same as G85. Does, it have, does this have HOG? <laughs> nope. Oh. Let's go to the video part, which is... Video! It's got V-Log. Oh, it does? Oh. Yeah, because like the, all the flagship, they, you have to pay for like the S1 and the GX5, <gasps> you have to pay oh, for S-Log, uh, V-Log, sorry about cool. that. Cool! <laughs> you got V-Log. Yeah, that's um, one thing that's missing on the G85. Then you can... There's no G-Log. Yeah. Cine like D and V, but no V-Log. No. So now you finally can, you can shoot vlog. <laughs> so of course it's still DFD, it's still the... Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's good, but not great AF. <laughs> As always, as Panasonic, but it's got a very good IS, I think. As I yeah. read from the web. <laughs> the, the IS, I, IS from the GT5 was like fantastic. It has, oh, already very good. Already very good. It had a dual IS system, yeah. if I'm not correct, with certain lenses. Yeah. Some lenses that were compatible with the dual IS system. Yeah, this one as well. We've yeah. got dual IS. Yeah. It goes up to five stop of image stabilization. Right. There's no recording time limit. Except if you buy this from Euro. What? Why? <laughs> Don't know. Panasonic. <laughs> Why, Locke? Why? <laughs> What's more interesting? There's one more feature. A 1.25 time crop in 4K. 1.25 times crop. Oh, in addition to. Oh. And on, at, on addition to the 2 times crop. So now it's 2.25 times. So what does it mean? It uses only a center part of the sensor to shoot 4K and apparently it's not much larger than one inch sensor. Ooh. When the OG85 get equivalent 16mm out of the 8mm lens, you will get 20mm on the new G95. Even more important, does it affect image quality? Well, it seems at least dynamic range was not affected. I really can't find much differences. But looks like smaller image area do affect no light. Even the newer processor and probably newer software still produce slightly noisier video. Seems like the G95 um, isn't a, a huge improvement on the G85. I mean, of course, mm. there, are diff th th there are a lot of differences. Um, more buttons. Well, actually, not more buttons, but. I, I do like the three buttons on the yeah, top. Yeah. 20 megapixels. 20 like, megapixels. Whoa, whoop de da. <laughs> Vlog. Ability to charge via the USBs. <laughs> it's a new feature, guys. <laughs> Welcome to 2019. <laughs> when you got this, this was like bargain. Bang, bang for your yeah, buck thing. Yeah. Like it's cheap, it takes 4K. But now it kind of like, it still takes 4K. It's not it's as cheap. Not as cheap. And then everyone else had overtaken. Yeah. 
Uh, this is lagging behind as a camera. I was saying the best um, selling point for the G95 for me is just that it has vlog. Uh, and, and that's pretty much about it. And unlimited recording time if you are not in Europe. So the Panasonic G95 is a good camera, but is it good enough? The thing is we have similar price A6400 and X-T30. Both got larger sensor, faster burst, and low crop in 4K, and they all got log profile. The only advantages of the G95 is it got a flip screen and best in class image stabilization, so it's good for vlogging. Yeah, it's good for something, it's good for vlogging. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs>